Hello everyone, my name is Elle, and today I will tell you about BEM, Become Human. Detective Sonia Summers heads to the island where the Duraco Chemicals lab is located. She investigates the disappearance of the defenders of humanity, Bam, Bella, and Bello. These three heroes defended the humans from the altered humans created by Dr. Recycle and the humanoid monster Vega. Bam turned into a large monster. Bella became a medium-sized monster and could control cold. Bello, a teenager, turned into a small monster and controlled fire. All three are missing, as is Dr. Recycle. Sonia Summers thinks they might be hiding out on the island. She rushes to the island on a motorcycle. Sonia's boss considered this idea stupid and dangerous, but the girl still decides to continue the investigation, asking only to keep everything a secret. At exactly 7 in the morning, a man named Balm wakes up in his bed. His son Matthew bursts into the room, and the two of them go to breakfast. Bam's wife, Emma, set a gorgeous table. Before breakfast, Bam takes her medication and starts eating. Amelia, Bam's eldest daughter, joins the family. Emma tries her husband, Ty. The kids go to school, and Bam goes to work. The Borg's neighbors greet Bam as he leaves the house. Bam and the neighbor go to work in Duraco Chemicals' office. On the way, he buys a newspaper and coffee. All residents are very friendly and nice to communicate with Belm. With the rest of the office workers, Belm arrives at the workplace. The boss is not in a good mood, and all employees believe that he did not take medicine in the morning, which all residents of the island drink without fail. A representative of the company enters the office. He wants to talk to Belm. He prizes Belm for an article about the corporation's work with the public. High authorities highly appreciated the work of Belm. Suddenly the phone rings, and Bell speaks it up. At this time, a meeting is being held in the office of a company representative. The company has developed a new technology that can save even more lives. Boehm returns home. He tells his wife the happy news. The representative prized his article. However, Boehm doesn't remember him writing anything at all. Emma asks her husband to take pills. It will help him relieve fatigue. Detective Summers is following an illegal deal at the port. Duraco Chemicals employees transfer an unknown drug to someone. Sony is being held at gunpoint and is about to be killed. Suddenly, Bello appears and throws the bandits away. Then the young man blows up the truck. One of the bandits turns into a monster. Sony discharges the clip into him, but the beast doesn't pay attention to this. The creature entangles the girl with its long tongue and is about to swallow her. Bello saves the detective and burns the monster to the ground. The detective is talking to Bello. She is sure that Dr. Recycle has improved his technology to turn people into monsters. Bello, however, is not interested in Summer's investigation. The drug that the detective found is something like a drug. Bello is fighting the company, but he doesn't want to know the whole truth. He works alone. Summers follows Bello's directions to Boehm's house. It looks like a stage set, with people standing motionless in the windows and merchants standing outside their shops. On one of the streets, Sonia notices Boehm's and Borch's. She calls Boehm's name, but he doesn't remember the girl or his real name. The detective is sure that she was right. The face, eyes, and voice are exactly like Boehm's. Belm returns home and tells his wife about a strange detective who calls out to him on the street, mistaking him for someone else. Borges says goodbye to Belm and goes outside. He's calling someone on the phone. Sonia returns to Bello. The young man knows that Belm is a bohem who chose this life himself. Now the young man must fight alone against the monsters of the Duraco company. He leaves Sonia on a bench in the park. Detective Summers walks through the busy streets of the city. Suddenly, she realizes that someone is following her. Sonia rushes to the nearest doorway. A girl grabs it here. After a while, Sonia is sitting in a small cafe. It turns out that Bella, who now works as a waitress, was following her. Bella, Bello, and Bam split up, and they choose their fate. They ran away from Libra, but soon found themselves back in the same city. Bella is happy with her fate. She leads the life of an ordinary girl, just like Bam, only Bello continues to fight. Belm is at home taking a shower. He notices a huge bruise on his arm where Sonia grabbed him. At night, Belm is tormented by strange dreams in which people in dressing groans taking blood from him. He jumps up and suddenly sees that his hand has turned into a monster's paw. Emma calms her husband down and gives him the medicine again. Bello infiltrates the Raku Chemical's lab. There, he discovers a flask of the drug and returns to Detective Summers after dealing with the guard. Sonia was right. The lab had indeed created a monster serum. Bell wakes up again to the alarm clock at 7 in the morning. Once again, Matthews bursts into his room with the message that breakfast is ready. 
Amelia comes down to breakfast as usual. After breakfast, Belm flushes the pills down the toilet. On the way to work, Belm notices the false smiles of his acquaintances. He visits the doctor with complaints of nightmares. The doctor prescribes him a new drug. Balm arrives at the office and sits down at his desk. The phone rings. The man picks up the phone and falls unconscious. Belma is brought to the laboratory. Scientists led by Dr. Recycle gathered here. Belma is released from the shackles. He sees familiar people around him and monsters in huge tanks. Borgs appears. Belm tries to leave the lab. Security forces rush in, and Recycle orders them to shoot Belm. You can kill him with ordinary bullets, but you don't need to. You need to stop and erase the memories. Security shoots at the fugitive. Belm foams, spilling blood on the floor. Belm's memories return. The power goes out in the lab, and Belm leaves the room. Borgs and the guards chase him. Belm falls from the building exterior staircase onto the rain-soaked asphalt. However, the guards who arrived at the crash site did not find the body there. Borgs leads the guards behind him. He knows where the fugitive has gone. Dr. Recycle is talking to the head of Duraco. Created monsters, in his opinion, need self-awareness, but a businessman does not require such monsters. He needs obedient soldiers to sell. Bam lurks in the night streets. His wounds are healing. He comes to an abandoned mansion. Among the ruined walls and the wreckage of some cars, fragments of memory come back to him again. It was in this mansion that he was born. His hand turns back into the monster's paw. He remembers his real name and Detective Summers. Sony is visiting Belm's house at this time. Belm is found in the mansion by Borgs. Belm must take medication or his memories will return. Belm refuses to take the pills. While Borgs is talking to Bam, armed guards arrive at the house. Summers communicates with Emma and reveals to her the truth about Belm. Emma tells the detective about his acquaintance with Belm. Matthew returns. The detective notices that the boy speaks and behaves the same as yesterday. Summers wants to talk to Matthew, however Emma forbids it. Bam blows up the mansion, destroying Borgs and all the gods. In the park he meets Sonia. Bam must stop people from using his blood to create monsters. Sonia decides to help him. Sonia asks Bella to help Bam fight the company, but he refuses. Summers contacts management and updates them on the progress of the investigation. The boss orders you to drop the case and return it. The monsters are chasing Bello. Recycle needs Bello to continue his experiments. Durango's assistant hands Emma the pills Belm is supposed to take when he gets home. The girl starts asking awkward questions. Bello barely overcomes his pursuers and falls exhausted. Bella finds him. Bam returns to Emma and reveals the truth to her. Summers tries to break into Duraco chemicals, but Borgs shoots her to sleep. Bam asks Emma to tell him the truth. The girl is ready to answer, but the phone call interrupts the conversation. Emma is rapidly changing into a monster. She lunges at Bam, trying to kill him. Bam sees tears in the monster's eyes and sadly kills Emma. The phone rings. Bam's boss is watching him through hidden cameras. Amelia and Matthew enter the room. The kids turn into monsters and charge at Bam. Bam's boss is watching the carnage. Bam puts on his old suit and takes a walking stick out into the night. Everyone who used to wish him a good day now turns into monsters and throws themselves at him. Sonia wakes up in the Raku chemical cell. There, she meets Dr. Recycle. Bam fights his way through the city streets to the company's office. He destroys crowds of monsters with his abilities. Bam's former boss, who is the creator of all these monsters, is currently in the office of the head of Durago. They are discussing the future of the company and the profit that the sale of the serum for creating monsters will bring them. Bam makes it to the office. An army is waiting for him at the entrance. With difficulty breaking through, Bam goes down to the lab. Here he is met by Borgs. Enraged, Bam stabs his former friend with his claws and sends an electric shock through his body. But you can't kill Borgs that easily. Borgs uses his watch to transform into a monster and attacks Bam. In a brief but brutal fight, Bam kills his former friend. 
A tired Bam enters the lab and destroys the flasks with monster germs. Bam continues to move through the lab. He finds his former boss, who is called the Graf. Bam is looking for Detective Summers. Bam realizes that it was the graph he saw in his dreams. Dr. Recycle is preparing to transform Summers into a humanoid monster. He puts a modification ring on her finger. The graph tried to recreate Bam for a long time, but he couldn't create consciousness in this monster. In the end, he abandoned the idea of giving monster intelligence. Another monster enters the lab. Bam thinks it's Sonia Summers. Bam kills the beast. The graph shows Bam another monster. This is the graph's wife, whom he cheated on. Bam wants to become a simple person to live an ordinary life. Bam needs to kill a person and put his soul in his body to do this. Bam is not ready to make such sacrifices. The Graf releases the monster to kill Bam. The head of the company enters, surprising the Graf, but suddenly the assistant blows off the head of the company. The monster lunges at Bam. At this point, Bello bursts into the lab and throws himself at the monster. Detective Summers enters through the open door, safe and sound. She shoots Drago's assistant. However, the one turned into a beast is not hit by any bullets. The assistant is attacked by Bella, who arrives in time. Bam split the ring on Sonia's finger, saving her from becoming a monster. Bam goes to the graph. He accepts his essence and is ready to live as a humanoid monster. Bam rescues Sonia from an exploding building. A huge monster bursts out of the rubble of the building. Bam fights him while Bello and Bella fight the graph's assistant. Bella freezes the enemy and smashes them into small pieces. The Graf, a huge monster, notices Sonia among the ruins and pierces her chest with a claw. This infuriates Bam. Bam rushes at the enemy and destroys it with a fierce attack. A huge explosion scatters the remains of the building. No trace of the monster remains. Among the ruins, Bello and Bella come to their senses. Sonia dies in Bam's arms, and the monster's eyes are streaming with tears. Detective Summers wakes up to find Bello and Bella standing next to him. Bam gave his life for Sonia to live. Thus, he fulfilled his dream of becoming a human being. Sonia's boss arrives at the scenes of the fight. After a while, Sonia returns to the service. Bella has returned to work as a waitress, and Bello continues to save people. Sonia is ready for a new investigation. She rushes through the city on a motorcycle again. If you like this video, then be sure to share this video, subscribe and like. Have a nice day. Bye.